In question 4, we are given that the HCF of 306 and 657 is 9. And using this fact, we have to find the LCM of this same pair of numbers. So we will make use of the fact that for any two positive integers A and B, the HCF of A, B, A and B times the LCM of A and B. So the HCF of the two numbers times the LCM of the two numbers. This is equal to the product of the two numbers itself. Now the reasoning behind this fact is quite interesting and something that I explain at length in the QMath Leap course. If you are not aware of the reasoning of this fact, you can try and give it a shot. Try to see if you can reason out why this fact, why this relationship is always true. Okay, so using this fact, let's find out what we get. So we have the HCF of 306 and 657 times the LCM of this same pair of numbers 306 and 657 this should be equal to the product of the integers themselves which is 306 into 657 so from this relation we can find the lcm of this pair of numbers so the lcm will be so the lcm of 306 and 657 will be the product of the two numbers 306 times 657 divided by divided by their HCF so divided by the HCF of 306 and 657 so we will have 306 times 657 divided by their HCF which is 9 and the value of this product divided by 9 is equal to 22,338. So this is the LCM of 306 and 657. And with that, we have solved question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.